Hey everyone, um, so the Raspberry Pi Foundation released a firmware update and now you're able to boot from an SSD um, or a USB flash drive without using a micro SD card. And I will walk you through the steps uh, on how to update the firmware on your Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, word of caution, uh, this is a beta release, uh, so I wouldn't rush into it, so unless you are willing to experiment. I do have another tutorial, guys, where you're able to use your SSD or USB drive uh, that uses a stable version of firmware. You still need your uh, micro SD card uh, for it, but it, it, the, it's used very minimally. Uh, so you probably won't even uh, notice any speed difference. Uh, it's a more stable and tried and true way uh, to do this. Um, but again, if you're anxious and you don't want to use the micro SD card, proceed with this tutorial right here. By the way, I added an extra step at the very end of this video as I had to do it for my SSD drive. Um, I didn't have to do it for my USB for some reason. Uh, it just worked. Uh, but SSD just it just wouldn't boot from it uh, without a micro SD card. Uh, so just follow along. Um, okay, let's get started. Uh, what I have here is a fresh Raspbian install. Uh, so let's update the system. So let's uh, open the command prompt. And then uh, type in sudo space apt space update. So it's getting all the files. Okay. Now type in sudo space apt space full dash upgrade. All right, I'm going to speed this part up. Uh, it will probably take a little bit longer for you or maybe quite a bit longer, just a few minutes. Um, okay, so we have a dialog box uh, come up, so uh, just hit OK. Okay, uh, this part is done. Uh, now open the command prompt again, uh, if you closed your previous one, um, and type in sudo space rpi dash update. Um, it will ask you, uh, would you like to proceed? Hit Y. Okay, uh, we're done with this part. Uh, so now let's uh, reboot the machine. And we're back. Okay, let's open our favorite command prompt again. Uh, type in sudo nano slash etc slash default slash rpi dash ee prom dash update and uh, by the way all of these commands are below in the description okay uh, now use your keyboard arrow keys uh, to go to the end of this line and replace critical with beta hit Control x then y and then enter uh, and we're done with that part uh, let's move on to the next one. So copy and paste the line that you see on your screen from the description below. Uh, I'm not just going to spell it out for you. It's pretty long. And hit end the Enter key. Uh, all right. So it seems like that's uh, there now. Uh, let's reboot the machine again. Alrighty, we're back again. Um, let's look at this. Um, open the command prompt, uh, type in vcgencmd space bootloader underscore version. Uh, we're going to look at the uh, our bootloader and see if the right version is installed. And you see, indeed it is, uh, dated May 15th. Okay, now let's look at the actual bootloader config and see what the boot priority is. Uh, type in vcgen cmd space bootloader underscore config now let's uh, look at the very last line where it says boot order uh, and it says uh, 0xf41 so 4 is what we're looking for so that's correct so 4 is the usb all right let's exit out of here okay uh, we are ready to copy our raspbian uh, to an ssd um, so go to the top left corner, uh, click on the Raspberry button, 
uh, click on the accessories and SD card copier. Um, in the copy from, you select your micro SD card, copy to, you select your uh, drive, um, your SSD or your USB flash drive uh, and click start. Uh, so once you click start, it will uh, ask you, are you sure? Hit yes. And now we're gonna copy the drive. Okay, now we're copying the uh, micro SD card to the SSD or USB drive. Um, I've sped this part up, uh, so it's not going to take as long for you. So let's see. All right, click OK after it says copy complete. Uh, close this out and shut down the machine. So you might be done um, at this point. Um, it worked for one of my drives, but it didn't work for my other one. So I've added this extra step in case... Um, you are not able to boot from your USB drive. Um, so try it out, remove the micro SD card, and after you shut down the machine, uh, go ahead and uh, turn your Raspberry Pi on and see if you're able to boot. Um, if you're not, uh, come back to this step and I will walk you through what you need to do. Um, so uh, in your browser, uh, go to uh, github.com slash raspberry slash firmware, click on the boot folder um, right there, and um, what you need to do here is you need to copy uh, the files that end is DAT and ELF extension to the boot folder of your SSD or your flash drive. So open your flash drive, go to the boot folder and copy these files. Um, you may have to right click and download it or you can go up uh, to the root folder and then just uh, download the whole repository and then just copy the DAT and the ELF files from here to the boot folder, and that should do it. All right, if you have any questions, uh, please uh, post them in the comments below. Um, if you didn't have to do the last step, please let me know in the comments as well. I'd be interested in hearing if it went smoothly for you or not. Um, all the links are in, this, in the description. If this tutorial has been helpful for you, I would really appreciate if you liked and subscribed. Um, so I'll be producing more videos. Thank you.